Hello children, I am Sunandini Chagam and working as school assistant bioscience in GHS Murkam part. Uh, in this part, transportation part 3, we shall see about the lymphatic system. Lymphatic system means uh, you have already studied about the arteries and veins. Another third pipeline which is hidden in our body is the lymphatic system. This is the third pipeline you are coming to study in 10th class. You see the green colored pipeline lymphatic system. The blue pipeline indicates veins, red pipeline indicates arteries and the green ones the lymphatic capillary system. Let us know what is this lymphatic system. Before that we have to recall what is blood. See here uh, this is the normal blood circulation and uh, the lymphatic circulation. Uh, this is a blood picture showing the neutrophils, eosinophils, um, red blood cells, lymphocytes, platelets, basophils and the blood vessel. This is also a picture showing the elements of blood, showing the red blood cells, lymphocytes, platelets and also the yellow colored plasma. You watch the plasma here clearly. Yellow color plasma is the liquid portion of the blood and uh, red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets is, are the solid part of the blood. Listen carefully. Solid part of the blood is yes, red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. And plasma is the liquid portion of the blood. Plasma carries all the nutrients required by your body. Now let us see the definition. Blood is a fluid connective tissue. It consists of red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets that is erythrocytes, leukocytes, thrombocytes in the plasma and plasma is a yellow color liquid. Now another definition we have to know what is serum? Yes, when you get a cut on your finger, the liquid portion after formation of the blood clot is called serum. Yes, for some time when you get a cut on your finger, after some time blood gets clotted and some liquid portion will be coming out and that liquid portion is called as the serum. You can see in the picture the greenish yellow color serum remaining on the upper portion, the blood clot in the lower portion that is the serum and in another uh, test tube you can see the plasma white blood cells and red blood cells in the blood. Then what is lymph? What is lymph? You watch in the picture. See here. We know that arteries end as arterioles in the tissues and veins will be ending as a venules. Arteries ending as arterioles in the tissues they form small uh, single cell thick capillaries and these are the starting points of venules. These are the starting points of venules and uh, you can see the clear color demarcation of the arteries ending as arterioles red color changing into blue color venules. Altogether these are called as the capillaries and it is the capillary bed in a tissue. Blood carries the nutrients and oxygen in the capillaries and it should be supplied to the cells. The liquid portion of the blood comes out of the capillaries and enters into the tissues. After supplying the nutrients, it carries the excretory wastes from the tissues and re-enters into the 
blood circulation and uh, through venules it is carried to the blood circulation. So the liquid portion of the blood that is entering into the tissues to supply nutrients is called as the tissue fluid. It is the lymph and not all part of the tissue fluid enters into the venules. Some part of it remains in the tissues and this is called as the lymph and the green colored lymphatic capillaries carry this remaining tissue fluid or lymph to the blood circulation. They run parallel with the veins and enter to the blood circulation and this is the lymphatic system running in our body. So lymph consists of the excretory products and also the portion of the blood without blood cells. You can see here the tissue fluid given a demarcation with two colors arterioles uh, supplying water oxygen glucose to the cells or the tissues and the blue color arrows entering into the venules uh, water carbon dioxide and uh, waste molecules and uh, this tissue fluid which is remaining in the tissues uh, is carried by the lymphatic capillaries into the blood circulation. You can watch in this video clearly. The children, these are the blood capillaries supplying blood to the tissues. This is the tissue fluid supplying nutrients to the cells. It collects excretory products of the cell and enters into the circulatory system but only some part of it enters into the circulation the remaining part enters into the green color capillaries called as the lymphatic capillaries so they form the lymphatic circulation in our body now take out the main points in order to supply nutrients to the tissues the liquid portion of the blood with nutrients flows out of the capillaries into the tissues and this is called as the tissue fluid. Now what is lymph? It is a substance that contains blood without solid particles that is blood without blood cells is called as the lymph. Lymph in the tissues is called tissue fluid. And Lymph is a link between the blood and tissues by which nutrients passes from blood to cells and excretory products from cell to blood. It flows in the lymphatic vessels and lymphatic vessels and veins have valves. These valves prevent the flow of blood in reverse direction. So, you might have seen a condition in uh, adults that we'll discuss in the next point. And the muscles which are attached to the skeleton act as pumps when they contract. And they help in pushing the lymph flowing in the lymphatic vessels and blood flowing in veins towards the heart. If we sit for a longer time without movement of our skeletal muscles in older people, legs will be swelling. Generally in during journeys, when they sit for a long time, their legs will swell and this condition is called edema. And this is because the valves that are present in the lymphatic vessels as well as in the veins, they won't function properly. So the fluid retains in them and this condition is called edema. When you take exercise for some time or do exercise or walk for some time, this condition will be cured. And now let us see the main questions that may come from this chapter. 
from this topic uh, define lymph uh, differentiate serum and lymph what is edema and define tissue fluid try to answer these questions and prepare well for the exams